What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video and um, as many of you know there is a game called 3D Boxing Online or just 3D Boxing I believe um, and you know it is just kind of little just rectangle figures boxing and the physics to it are, are, are pretty good and they released a new like a uh, tech demo thing to test. Now there is some bugs, uh, it does only work with the Xbox controller but one thing that I like about it is that it already has controller support built in. I didn't want to do all that fucking about where I had to use a different program to remap the controller so it believes it was my keyboard, all that crap. I didn't want to waste my time with that. Um, but I saw that this was out, so I thought we'd give it a quick go and just we're going to try them each and then we'll do the sparring. And yeah, you know, fair play to this guy for making it. If you want, you can join the Discord. Uh, this is the Discord here, uh, 3D Fighters, I believe it's called. But yeah, you can find where the Discord is and there's people playing, people who are much much better than me um, playing and yeah so you know obviously there is there is issues with the game um, but you know at the end of the day you, at the end of the day, you can't complain it, you know there seems to be a lot of box and a lot of MMA games coming up I mean a bit of sus but you know uh, but yeah let's get back to it so here we are we've got shadow boxing to start so as you can see you do actually have your straight your shot and that's all with the left hand and then B actually, you can remap it as well by the way, you can actually remap your, your controls if you want, the gamepad's there. So you can actually remap if you want, I just haven't been bothered to. So if you hold then the, the R1, which for PlayStation, then that seems to cause that to glitch out, which I'm not quite sure why. Um, so now I'm not doing anything and it's just moving. But this is just part of it, so we're just going to give it a go together. I literally played for about 30 seconds before just to see if there was any like massive bugs. Also because the PlayStation controllers don't work with it. So we're back in, like I said, you can... Now you can like throw like that. It's pretty, it's pretty quick to be honest. If you throw, so you can whoa, <laughs> like, so you can keep the arm out, which I kind of like. You can actually keep the arm, and yeah, everything just seems to cause that that to be like constantly going right. I'm not quite sure why, why that does that. We go back into it. We've got the block there. And then we've got uh, the body block is that one. And what I like as well is like you've seen it. See, it's just done it. Again. See, it's just. I don't know what, what it is that's causing it. The left stick, however, is the head movement. So you can... So if I actually try and get my fighter backed into a corner here, if that's going to be possible with this constant right. So you can actually use that movement, which I kind of like, and you could you could throw off big, big shots. Of course, you know, you can see my my fighter throwing himself about because of the, this, this glitch that he's in. But... Because he's got his arm stuck as well, but we're gonna give it a go with the uh, with the thing. I wonder if I remap it if that will help. So I've now actually turned off the walking. So there's not gonna. So that might actually be better for us. So instead of the walking, we'll just stay still and we'll just fight like this. Because there's not much to do. But you can see, I like the head movement. Like you can have like little adjustments of head movement. You see, so you could do a little pullback and shot. So you could do a little pullback and throw a shot off, or you could do a big pullback and throw the shot off again. But so yeah, you can see, you can seem to hook in massive, massive shots like that, or you can just little little tappers, which I kind of like. It's it's dependent on how much you throw, like little little tap or big straight, little shot, little 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 boom. <laughs> it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. And like I said, because I've. I can actually kind of move myself with the head movement a little bit if I, you can see I'm set, but this has got rid of that glitch, which I'm actually okay with. He has also added a variety of um, cameras that don't seem to want to work, so that's that's fine. But we're here on the heavy bag. Heavy bag actually does have its own physics, which is kind of cool. But you know, you can see it's pretty basic. There's not there's not too much to it. But I'm gonna try and fight this sparring partner and see how that goes. So like I said, I'm I'm not going to be able to move here, which is fine by me. Uh, I'm going to let him come to me, and I'm going to hit him with some hit him with some shots. I'm just going to keep my block up here. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, you know what? At the end of the day, bu bugs happen. You know, keep my guard up. Keep my guard up on the inside. Oh oh, what's happened to me? So there's only three rounds. You know what? Like, I don't actually hate, like, all the physics-based boxing that he's got going on here. I don't actually hate it. I just like to just see just there not be, like, these these 
glitches where like it comes to movement and stuff. But that might not be for me. That might that might that might not be for everyone. That might be for me. That glitch. Oh god, look now we're okay. Round two. Okay, I wonder. I'm up. Get off my leg. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, he actually got me. Oh, he actually knocked me out. Oh. And I'm up. Oh, come on. My arm was stuck. Oh, come on. Come on. I was playing so well. And my arm got stuck. And I got thrown into a glitch. Guard up. Guard up. Hit him with that. Hit him with the big shot again. Huh? Huh? Oh, miss me. I feel like if I remap the controllers and that I stop having this movement glitch. And by the way, it's nothing to do with my controller either before anyone says anything because the, there's there's like nothing wrong with this controller. I can't... Oh, it's the end of the fight. So, we can't punch, but we can still move. We can still block, but nothing happens. Okay, you know what though? Like I said, guys, at the end of the day, I'm not here looking for the... I'm not here looking for the greatest boxing experience in the world, you know. I'm here to just give this give this a test. And just see, because, you know, it's good to have the controller support. I think it shows, like, how much... How difficult controller support can be to get. You know what I mean? But... I really can't complain too much, to be honest. I, I actually don't don't dislike it at all. I think it's I think it's fun. Uh, I think you know it doesn't even need to be skinned. It just needs these glaring glitches gone. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's like a fucking tech test alpha pre alpha demo for free with limited modes. Like th there's, it's not like I paid for this. It was completely free. It's a free download onto your PC. And the fact that all I done was plug in the Xbox controller and just had one movement glitch, I'm not upset with that. I feel like, you know, you have like things where say the controller the controllers are just a bit smoother. I might remap them and then give it another go and see and see what happens. Ow. <laughs> just fucking land on my hand. Um I might remap them and see what happens. Maybe if I get rid of uppercut, say, and just add jab straight and hook hook in each hand, that could be better. Alright, so now I've got the D-pad as movement, jab, straight, hook, hook. So now it's going to be a different experience for me. And if I quickly do one more thing on the remap. So now I have D-pad for movement, that for head movement, jab, straight, hook, hook. Jab, straight, hook, hook. Now... I can still add the, I can still have the uppercuts because I've still got that choice, like there. But for now, I've just got this, and that's that's all I'd want. That is absolutely all I would want. And now, I'm not having issues with it. Now I'm not having issues at all. So now, if I just quickly get into sparring with this guy again, I kept the block the same. See, I threw the uppercut in there. And I'm down again, but that's fine. And I'm up. Look at this, I'm so much smoother already. So much smoother. So all it is just took that little remap. All that done was just took a little remap. Oh, I done. I went for a little like fancy kick there. You know what I mean? And then I can, I can use the head movement while I move, while I block as well. I'm really not upset with this at the minute. Like the, oh, I'm up, baby. Yeah, stay down, boy. Yeah. Yeah. But now, like, if I want, I can just rain hooks down on him. 
And I'm actually throwing them. And then I can, then if I want, I can get back up. And I can retreat and I can go back to the jab. Much, much nicer when you remap. Much better. We can move around the bag now. Hitting it with shots that we want to use. Normally I'm too lazy for a remap. But this literally took 30 seconds of my time. And jobs are good in. But I thought I'd get my first experiences in beforehand. And just show you guys that even an idiot like me can load this game up. It took 20, 30 seconds for me to figure out how to open it. Um, and yes, it did take me that long. I couldn't just know how to. I had to like actually try and fail an error. Probably actually took me about four, four or five minutes to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. But you see, it's just fun. It, it, that, that's all it is. At the end of the day, if he... It, the controller support is there already, which is important. Because not many of us are going to play on keyboard. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't have the intelligence to do that secondary program stuff. I just don't. I don't have it in me. I, I'm too stupid to understand it. And that's just the way it be. And that, that's okay. Um, but, you know, control support quickly remapped it. Like I said, it literally takes 30 seconds. Gamepad, remove, remove. And then you just press the button that you want. And I've got mine set, sorted now. So it's D-pad. And that's it. And that is it. Simple as that. So if you play the game and you're on PC, just remove the right stick as your movement. Have it as the D-pad if you're having that problem. Like I said, PlayStation controller doesn't seem to work. Which just doesn't seem to work at all. Which is, I suppose, annoying, but okay. And, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, you know, if you guys have enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Remember what it is, because people always be like, oh, my God, this game is so bad. It's like, remember what it is. It's not a full release. I didn't pay for it. It's just a test. It's just a test demo. That's all it is. And, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.